Hello, and welcome to a very special unboxing video starring me, Jazzy Jeff. Welcome everyone, welcome viewers, welcome old viewers. So today, or tonight for that matter, because this is actually being filmed at night, I'm bringing to you a very cool unboxing. The reason why this is so cool and so unique is this is the very first, I guess you could say, official box from one of my fans. Um, and it's really awesome because uh, she didn't have to do this. And um, it was just super great of her. Um, to put all these great goodies inside this box and uh, send it my way. So, um, huge thanks. Uh, I, I won't say her full name, but huge thanks to Brenda. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like, a hundred times over, didn't have to do this, but I'm so glad that you did. I'm so thankful for everything you got me. Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to do, is I'm going to be, well, I already unboxed this stuff because I wanted to try and get an idea of what everything was, um, and then once I got an idea, saw everything that was in the box, I figured, hey man, why not do a video? So, I'm just going to grab, uh, well first up, of course, she sent a really awesome letter, so really digging the robot. try and cover up but the uh, she put the same little robot on the box so neat little design you know I don't know if that I'll have to ask her if that's like a special um, symbol of hers that like she puts on all her stuff like if that's her little like insignia so to speak but of course sent this cute little um, Christmas time card nice little uh, you know note inside Merry Christmas so very, very uh, nice of her. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the big item out of the way. Boom! We got Krampus, baby. We got the the Krampus. Handmade. Handmade by, by Brenda. Look at that. That's absolutely phenomenal. There's the tail there. Digging that. So, as per usual, I did no research heading into this. Um, obviously, uh, a lot of you guys might have heard of uh, Krampus. I believe it's uh, German, Germany, or, or at least European. Uh, basically, their sort of version of Santa, uh, who's a little bit darker. And um, he's uh, pretty, like, wicked looking, too, you know? And I, I feel like she nailed it, just... Hardcore down down to every detail uh, the teeth the tongue the eyes uh, Fantastic stuff um, Unfortunately he did come with bells and My cat immediately ripped them off as soon as like I took this out of the box and like put it down and started looking through the other stuff and my cat grabbed it and I went to pull it away from my cat and the cat got the bells and ripped them off so unfortunately the bells were taken, but the rest of him remains untouched. He's okay. I know, Brenda. Um, don't worry that you weren't able to find any movies. Um, thank you so much for like looking for them, obviously shopping and stuff. Um, the Krampus absolutely made up for it. Like I, I love stuffed dolls, as, as you know, and uh, collector's items, action figures, toys and stuff. Um... So this, this is absolutely excellent. So, um, and the fact that it's handmade, I mean, I don't have many handmade things. I just, like, I can't stop playing with a stick thing. But this is, like, absolutely awesome. Um, I'm going to make sure to put down um, information about Krampus in, in the links below. Um, if you guys want to find out or read up more on Krampus. Uh, sorry I came so unprepared, <laughs> as always. 
Um, but uh, from what I remember, I think Krampus like eats children, and uh, he's just like very scary and brutal. And there you go. So, Krampus, everybody. All right, up next, um, these are awesome. Uh, this totally brings me back to my childhood. Um, I did these all the time. Uh, I had a ton of these growing up. Uh, it's those Grow, you know, action figures. Uh, this brand is called Grow Metallics, and these are Growbots. That's pretty funny. Mega Growbot instead of Gobots. Uh, just put in water. Grows up to 600%. I should do a commercial for these, you know. Like, grow metallics, and there's like explosions and stuff. Um, another great thing that I really like about these is um, I obviously just came, I'm fresh off of uh, spoilers, uh, filming more um, trading card uh, episodes, and um, they're robot related because I open up the Robot Wars trading cards. So these are like right up there. Um, so, uh, Brenda, you may actually see these in a, um, future trading card. One of the last, of course. I mean, the series is ending, uh, but I have some Encore episodes coming. So, there is that. And then, uh, this is, like, the coolest freaking thing. Um, just so neat. Um, it is a, I'm gonna slide it out carefully here. So this looks to be a vintage poster collection. Um, it's like an advertisement for it. And um, this kind of goes back to my one video where I'm talking about um, handouts or like counter, I guess you could say counter advertisements and stuff like that, uh, that you would find at um, conventions, comic book stores, you know, maybe your local five and dime. Um, you know, your local deli stores, candy stores, nickel shops. Um, you'd find stuff like this in the windows or on the counters. Uh, a lot of de like delicatessens would have, you know, the top of their deli lined with business cards and stuff like this. And, you know, over the years, I, I've collected a lot of stuff like this. And it's a neat relic of the past because a lot of this stuff no longer exists because everything's online now. Um, so I love anything... Anything old, anything, you know, like this, you know, cardboard, it's made really well. She was nice enough to put it in this awesome plastic sleeve. And um, the biggest, the coolest thing about this is that it's one of my all-time favorite um, top. This is definitely in the top ten for sure. Top five, actually. Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still. Um, I have this on VHS. So there it is. There's the Day the Earth Stood Still on Glorious uh, VHS tape. And there's the uh, back of it, of course. It's really neat. It's like a little mini poster. And um, I like it a lot. And uh, this will definitely fit in with all my crazy clutter that I have. So thank you, Brenda. Up next, she just sent a ton of trading cards. Uh, which is crazy because I just received a bunch of trading cards from my pal Colin Richards um, and that's a whole nother monster <laughs> that I still need to uh, get to at some point. Uh, staying focused on this video. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to dive in first. There's so many awesome things here. So um, I'll start with the ones that I don't have. So Roger Rabbit, like this is amazing. Um, I never unbox these i've never come across these in the wild um so i'm definitely gonna have to do a special trading card episode at some point <clears throat> on uh, roger rabbit uh these are tops from 1987 the year i was born and um of course uh one of my all-time favorite childhood movies super nostalgic lots of memories very awesome they're cards that i don't have um Originally, I never had these before. Colin just sent them, but I'm still counting them as cards that I don't have because I've never opened these before. I've never talked about these before. Here we have uh, these also appear to be tops. Um, and Walt Disney. Well, once again, Walt Disney. These are the, uh, the Rocketeer, which I actually never saw 
the um, I never saw the movie. I actually had the Super Nintendo video game, and I sold it because I didn't like it. Um, I didn't really care much for it, but staying focused on the cards. Uh, these look super nice and very like crisp and fresh, and there's like no gross gum. And I'm excited to tear into these suckers. And now I have four packs to open because I got two from you, uh, Brenda and two from Colin. So thank you. Like these are excellent. Um, I've won so I kind of fibbed there. There's actually another set of cards that I've never had before. Um, I've never opened them. I've never had these my whole life. And I'm like angry that I never had these because these are like, you know, pardon my French, but these are like fucking amazing. We got Batman fucking returns, baby. Yeah. Fucking, fucking Batman. Like, Batman. Like, need I say more? Batman. Like, these, these are so cool. They're made by Tops. These are stadium club cards. These feel very fresh, very new. Uh, these are from 1991. Uh, DC, of course. DC Comics. I mean, goddamn, these are these are beautiful. I love Batman Forever. I could talk about it uh, forever, <laughs> but not to be confused with Batman Forever. Oh man, jeez, this is just awesome. And there's 15 of these suckers. 15. That's crazy. So thank you so much, uh, Brenda. These are excellent. Love those. Can't get enough of them. I guess I'll save those ones. All right, so I'll start with these ones. Um, these are excellent. Um, you can't go wrong with some Terminator 2. Um, I had so much fun doing the Terminator 2. I forget what episode that was, 30-something. Um, that was a lot of fun acting it. It was my first trading card video that I did a big production out of. Um, and the cards really inspired me to. Uh, the original Terminator, actually, is one of my... Um, it's up there. I mean, it's almost my number one favorite movie. I'd probably rank it around two or three. Um, it's one of those movies, the first one, I could watch again and again. Um, if it's all on TV, I gotta finish it. Uh, it's just done so brilliantly. Uh, so many cards of uh, that one guy from the final season of The X-Files that everybody hated. But I loved it. Uh, what the hell was that guy's name? I can never remember his name, but... Anyway, the point is, the guy that played the T-1000, there was a lot of cards of him. So I'm looking forward to more cards of him. So, excellent. Alright, up next, you can't go wrong with some classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cards. Um, it's actually, I'm really glad to have some fresh cards to open again, because I'd like to kind of redo those episodes, and forget all about those other ones that I made um but aside from all that nonsense um I honestly like can't stress enough how much of a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I am um but I surprisingly I'm not a fan of the comic I just never got a chance to get into it I would love to at some point I have so many things on my to-do list that it's overwhelming um but the Ninja Turtles that I personally really love, I'd say, is a huge mixture of the movie and the cartoon series. Um, the movie has actually grown on me more because I remember the movie as a kid and I watched it a couple times. But, the, you know, as I grew up, I actually learned to appreciate the film more. So the film is kind of, in, in latter years, I'd say the last 10, 15 years, I've really grown more into that. But in general, I mean, you can't go wrong with the cartoon, um, the cartoon comic series, like the early 90s, um, Laird and Eastman, Archie Comics. I read those, but not the original ones that Eastman and Laird did. Of course, the toy line, huge, uh, left a huge impression on me, still is, is a huge impression on me, um, amongst, you know... The cups, the bowls, the t-shirts, the hats, the jackets, the bed sheets, everything. Um, I've gained a lot and lost a lot over the years of turtle stuff. Um, it comes and goes through my life. It's one of the toughest things to collect because I'm always getting stuff and then 
you know, losing stuff, and it, it's a nightmare. It's one of those things where it comes and goes, you know. But anyway, not to go off on a crazy story, but thank you, Brenda. Um, excellent, excellent uh, pick. The final set of cards that you sent that were my all-time favorite. Uh, it was one of my favorite uh, episodes. Or, well, it's, it's tough to say all-time favorite, but it was probably one of my top five favorite episodes filming. Um, I had fun filming it. I had fun editing it. I had fun talking about it. I had fun setting up for it. Fucking RoboCop 2, baby! Of course, we got more tops. Forgot to mention that the Ninja Turtles cards are tops. Who else? Tops. Tops. Back to the RoboCop 2 cards. Um, yeah, the, these are excellent. I fucking love RoboCop. Oh, man. I, holy shit. Nine cards, one sticker, one stick of bubblegum. Yes. RoboCop 2. Holy hell. Where do I begin? Where do I end? What can I say about RoboCop that already hasn't been said? And I love RoboCop. And I hope RoboCop loves me. And I just don't know what else to say. I mean, they're great cards. They're fantastically done. Um, they're not, you know, there's certain tr trading cards I've gotten over the years, like the Bill and Ted's, some of the Power Ranger movie. Um, of course, I'm drawing a blank. Harry and the Hendersons. Uh, Dinosaur, that weird, the baby movie. A lot of those cards are just like stock footage from the movie. And RoboCop sort of does that, but they do it in a better way. S makes makes the cards stand out from other trading cards. And they include some bonus cards of pi pictures of RoboCop and, the, and behind the scenes that you wouldn't have normally seen if you just watched the movie from beginning to end. And that's what I like, you know what I mean? If you're just gonna chop up the movie into like 500 cards and then just send them out like you're not really doing anything um and i'm not gonna care to pick up those cards but if you put a little bit more work into it and like you actually give a shit about what you're making um they could be some excellent fucking cards all right everybody so that's it um that's the brenda unboxing i guess you could call it so, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, uh, this was entertaining and thought-provoking. And uh, just something different to switch it up. Um, I've done unboxings before on this YouTube channel. Um, please, as I always say, leave feedback in the comments below. Let me